weeks down. Can you believe it? Only four weeks to go. Two big things this week. First thing, tickets are now available Saturday, 24th of March, Sydney Olympic Park Aquatic Centre. The Fight Project culminates. All ticketing details can be found at thefightproject.com.au. Second thing, all profits raised from ticket sales will be donated to the Children's Hospital Westmead's Oncology Unit Fighting Kids Cancer. Now, UFC fighter James Tahuna and I were invited out to the unit to meet some of the kids and families affected by this terrible disease. Here is a snapshot of what was a very inspirational visit. Every grain in the depth below, cause I can no longer... Um, Natasha has leukaemia. She's got acute lymphoblastic leukaemia. Um, she was diagnosed in June 2011. Fruitful, my love. Withered with the wind, it caught my hands, but now it's time to start. Before Brianna was starting, I had no idea that this sort of thing happened. Even um, when I am at home and I take my other two children out, normal faces, I, uh, I look around me at all the normal people and uh, I don't think people have any idea. Carry on, carry on number of kids that are fighting and it's just every day there's more and more and more and it's incredible to think that, you know people need this place and if we don't have the backing we don't have the support from so many people this it wouldn't be here carry on carry on it's tough going through there for me how did you feel going through there you know it was um, a lot of children there uh, they're, you know, they're, they're the real fighters, uh, they're more than fighters than I am. Um, so it was, yeah, it was pretty, um, you know, it's pretty tough. You've grown so tall, you will not be able to write to us. Just finished at the Children's Hospital here at Westmead. Um, wow, uh, met some amazing kids, um, amazing parents, and i will learn a thing or two about fighting and give you the tip uh, walking through that ward. I'm really excited to uh, be in partnership with the guys here at the Westmead Children's Hospital and um, hoping that all of you guys get behind this so we can make lots of money to help these kids out. Counts to me and the way you are living is nice to nice to nice. Yes, quite an amazing visit. Now, probably might notice I'm a little bit banged up, so let's take a look at the rest of the week. There was. Hey, hey, hey. My parents always told me to never talk back, but to speak when you're spoken to. I wonder if they ever thought that, leave me no idea what I'm supposed to do. They said no when you're beaten, but then to never. Put his wrist. Okay, start again. Birds of a feather might flock together, but then they said opposites attracting, and everything happens for a reason. Well, I got reason. I'm just waiting to happen. Oh, look, he's learning how to fight, and not. <laughs> That's, that's the big thing now, and uh, damage control. Uh, I, I do kind of work in TV a bit, so I've got to uh, try to protect the merchandise. Uh, still waiting on that. Um, there's been no shortage of offers of people to fight me, but um, I'm leaving that in the hands of the matchmakers. Basically, you should, when you kick, you shouldn't be in punching range. Um, step out of centre when you kick as well, and get always cover your head. There's nowhere like home, man. Grass is green as some other place. Just turn it in. Yeah. No yeah. yeah. From the looks of my head, do you think it's been hit enough yet, or? Well, mate, I think you've had enough punches. I've got a pepper of dry reach and roll. Pull it out. Pull it out. Best way to pull it out. Pull it out from the side. Oh, 
<laughs> Don't do it this way. One foot, then the next. One foot, then the next foot. One foot, then the next foot. And then the next. One foot, then the next foot. Every line of text will glide to your left hook. No gag reflex from me. Hey. <laughs> I can certainly tell the difference. I've got another one. And it, it doesn't fit anywhere near as good as this. There you go. That was not as smooth as I would have liked. Come on. I'm a mouth guard. VT1 gym for the fight project at your gym promotion. See how much towering up you've got planned for. Tell us a little bit about your gym here. Um, I'm in uh, VT1 gym, which is called Premier uh, Mixed Martial Arts Academy. We've got top instructors for every up. So let's see if you can be an MMA fighter rather than a boxing wrestling jiu -jitsu. Challenge accepted. I can't see you from across the streets and when you yell the now, I'm like, who could that be? It could be anyone. I wish someone was walking with me. To help out, maybe you weren't even talking to me. Cause it could be right. <laughs> Try small, give a wave. I can't see who you are, but uh, it's just hey, I shrug and keep walking. Up to the bottom, I'm gonna hope that someone else will hail the one that I want. Otherwise, I hail them all and hope for the best. But just my luck, it's not in service. And then rubber points up like a cat's breeze. He drives on by in the height. Thanks so much to Liam and the team at VT1 Gym. Had a great time training there. What a welcoming place. If you're in the area, check it out. VT1 Gym, Chatswood. Now guys, we need you to spread the word. This is massive. This is not just about a fat journo turning into a fighter anymore. It's about raising as much money as possible for the kids. Thefireproject.com.au, Saturday 24th of March, Sydney Olympic Park Aquatic Centre. Now, I'm down to 77 kilos. Incredibly, I am contemplating a move down to lightweight, which will mean cutting an incredible 22 kilograms from my original weight. But all those details and more this week on thefightproject.com.au. Till next time, peace.